Well, after spending five seasons in Stillwater, earning All-America honors, OSU star pitcher Kelly Maxwell shocked everyone transferring to in-state rival Oklahoma. Our Chris Williams sat down with Kelly to talk about that decision and the backlash that came with it. Kelly, thanks for sitting down with us. Jumping right into it, can you walk us through your decision? You have a great career at Oklahoma State. What was the decision process like first to enter the transfer portal and then picking Oklahoma? I did my time there, and I think um, the pitching coach change really kind of did it for me. Um, I was ready to just kind of see what other options were out there. I entered the portal a little late, um, came here to Oklahoma on my first visit, really enjoyed it, really loved what they had to offer, um, went on a couple other visits to make sure, you know, I was going to pick the right one, and I'm just thankful that I ended up here. Coach Kayaski didn't mince words. He wasn't thrilled that you were leaving. Obviously, there were some other Oklahoma State fans on social media. How did you deal with all of that? Uh, I was definitely sad to hear. Um, kind of unfortunate, um, but I know that's part of it. And I was just able to really rely on my family and my friends. And, you know, I know my worth. And I know what I did there and for that program was was great and I'm glad for my time there and I'm super thankful and I'm just glad that I can be an alum there too. How long did it take to really fit in here in Norman with, with the girls, with the program, with everything? Uh, it didn't take long. Um, I played with a lot of the girls through USA so it was almost just like I knew them. I had so much respect playing against them all these years. It was it was easy transition. Playing with girls like Kinsey Hans and Jada Coleman who have obviously done it before at a high level. Have you learned anything from the way they carry themselves, the way they approach practice and approach the sport? Absolutely. They bring in energy, you know, every day. And I'm not, like, one to show energy and show emotion, but I feed off of it. And so being around them, it's it makes the game easy and it makes it fun. So are we going to see a little? You're always so stoic after a strike. Are we going to see a little bit, maybe a fist bump here and there this year? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> You've competed against this program, you've watched this program succeed since you were a little girl. What's been the most eye-opening thing now being a part of the program? Just the respect that they all have for each other and the coaching staff. I mean, I've learned so much here in just a short amount of time, and it's something new. I mean, I didn't think that I had much more to learn, um, but I'm learning so much, and I think I'm just grateful to have this opportunity to be here in this moment. Have you set any goals? For yourself for this season? I want to finish my softball career um, the right way and just to make my younger self proud and I think just I can't focus on too many goals or other people's opinions and expectations it's just more for myself and finishing off on the right foot. We really appreciate you sitting down with us. Good luck this year. Thank you.